Hey guys, Knucklehead here with Colin. Hi. And this is Things to Do in Super Mario 64, the Green Mushroom Challenge. What is the Green Mushroom Challenge, Knuckle? The Green Mushroom Challenge is a bitch, <laughs> Colin, that's what it is. It's <laughs> one of the most frustrating things I've ever done in a game. And it was... Oh, God. I So I only recently found out about this whole challenge thing. Um, apparently a couple of Japanese guys invented it a few years ago. And uh, basically... And Mario 64, you can get green mushrooms, which give you one up. Of course. But some of them will follow you when you make them appear. So the challenge is to try and do the mission where you have to collect the eight red coins and a level and then get the star before oh. the mushroom catches you. Which that is sounds difficult. Really difficult to do because it moves faster than you and it can face through walls. Oh, so no. You kind of have to use a lot of maneuvers and long jumping and all this different crap to try and stay away from the thing, and it's really hard. <laughs> like, I didn't think it would be as hard when I heard about it. I thought, ah, it'll be easy enough. I know this game really well. I know where all the coins are. This won't be that hard. No, it really is. It really is pretty difficult. As you, this is uh, one of my. I think this is either my first or second attempt at it. Uh, right here, you just uh, grab this tree, and there it is, and it will start following you, oh. and it will not stop until it catches you. This, you know what's really ironic about this challenge? What is this that? Was, this was supposed to help you. Like, oh, we'll just make the mushroom home in. And then these guys created a way to basically have the opposite effect. Would you want to stay away from this thing? Um, did you ever? Did you play Super Mario 64 when you were uh, younger? I didn't have a Nintendo 64, but I know everyone knows that one friend that has one. Oh, yeah. The, like the coolest guy on the block. Uh, oh, no. There, I screwed up this fucking, the long jump thing there and it got me. Which is lame, but... Yeah, this game is a... Uh, I honestly thought I would do better at this, this challenge, because I, as you can see, I got all 120 stars here. I've beat this game multiple times. I thought I could do this. It is really difficult, and I encourage anybody that has this game to try this. It is so what is what is this attempt to? This, is, uh, this was probably like attempt 8 at this point, but I decided to uh, not have you guys have to sit and watch every single attempt that I had at this. Oh no! This was uh, this was probably my probably the closest I got to doing it. Spoiler alert: didn't actually finish it. I think I'll go back and try and do it again at some point. But yeah, this is really difficult. And um, as you can see, yeah, it's it's just not does not leave you alone at all. It just oh, oh that was close. <laughs> nearly got me there. And uh, yeah, it's really difficult because you would think you could do things like oh, I'll jump in the cannons in the level and fire away from it, but. The amount oh. of time it takes for you to get in the cannons and stuff, and, oh god, nearly got me again there. It just ends up get, catching up to you before you can even do anything. And He brought his, he brought his friend along. Yep. And, it's uh, like, he's turned down the wrong street, motherfucker. I screwed up the jump there and it got me again. So, yeah, this is really difficult. If you have this game, definitely try this. It's fun as hell, but frustrating as hell. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for joining me, Colin. Thank you, Knuckle. Thank you.